This is a swarm. We're going to catch the swarm soon. But before I do, I thought I would plunge my hands into the swarm and see what I could pull out. Ah! It's a very interesting feeling uh, having bees walking on your hands. Ideally, if I could get the queen into my hands, then the whole swarm would come and just land on me. Now I'm going to start pulling away. Hopefully I'm not, ooh, pinching any because they don't like to get pinched. And if I squeeze them against a branch, let's pull this one hand away and see what we got. Ah, oh, look at bees. Let's see, I don't see the queen there. Problem is I can't really get a whole swarm worth onto my hands because there's too many branches in the way. Let's just very carefully squeeze up through the branches. What you feel is a very, uh, a sort of a buzzing feeling on your skin. I feel like, oh, that's a branch, I'm, I think, or a leaf. And they just sit there. Okay, I guess what we're going to have to do is just set up a, a hive and start putting them in. So let me go get the hive. Of course, now I have to figure out how to pick up a hive when my hands are covered with bees. So I'm going to shoo these at, at my photographer. I don't think she wants me to do that. Well, as long as they don't sting me. No, well, he probably won't. Here, you want to put some on you? Uh, Shall I make a bee beard? Can I put my hand in that thing? You can put your hand in that if you want. You have to do it slow and not pinch the bees. I'm kind of scared. Notice that there, some of them are... Okay, can you reach? Um. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go over here and just shake these out and they'll just come back up to the swarm. So there'll be a few bees flying around you shortly. Watch me get stung. What? If you squeeze a bee against a branch, they might sting. So you just have to be careful. I'll go get the... They're kind of warm. Oh, that's a thunder. That makes me unhappy. And what I'm going to do, just for the heck of it, is I'm going to shake them into the hive. Although they'll probably just fly up and go back to the swarm. Because you don't think the queen's in there. Yeah, very unlikely. You have about as much chance as you have of... Yeah, here they all are all coming back. Can't you like put the hive under the swarm and shake them in? I can put the hive in? under, drop it, and hope they drop in, but it's such a small branch. It probably is, be it's better to drop it right where you're going to put the bees. So, uh, I wish that wouldn't thunder. Thunder's so all. you're going to cut the whole branch I'm off gonna cut, then? I'm going to trim all the extra branches. How do you cut it? At least I think I am. How do you cut it and hold it at the same time? Oh, my photographer holds it and I cut it <laughs> and we hope that it doesn't land on her head. But I know that she will stay calm, calm mm -hmm. if there's a problem. Right. Including if there is a mass. Ooh, one I just landed on my okay. neck. I don't like them to land on my neck. Ready? 
I'm going through. It's going to jerk. You got a good hold on it? Yeah. It's almost through. There it goes. Oh, that was very good. Now very gently. Here, can you away. take this? Can you hold it steadily? Yep. I cannot. There it is. They're on my feet. Oh, you've got bare feet. Mm -hmm. That's really good. I see that there's some still stuck on some branches. That's all right. Do you want to take the picture and let me take the swarm? Or do you want to actually do the dumping? What do you want? Would it be easier if I just did it? If you want to. I can. Watch out, you've got one branch that's going to catch up there. There you go. Uh, and just make sure, because if there's bees on the ground, you, it, you, did you get stung? Yeah. Okay, let me have the branch. That's all right, I got it. All right. You got to get right out of there. I'm sorry, I'm not doing very good at keeping the camera on your... So you got a nice sting on your leg? It was a light one. Okay, I today we learn if Ariel is allergic okay, to honeybee stings. Going? You're going all the way around. I don't think I'm allergic, Dad. Okay. It's a sting. Yeah, well, we're going to find out because uh, if you start getting a systemic reaction, we will know that Ariel can't help me with bees anymore. I hope I'm not allergic. Watch out, don't let it hit the branches. Because I don't like the thought of the EpiPen. Yeah. I'll tell you what, it's really easy to do an EpiPen when your life is dependent on it. Well, there goes thunder. Always a bad thing when working Which with bees. Step in? over the fence, don't trip on it. Okay, right over there. I guess you weren't watching when I put the box down. Really? This you one right here? you were daydreaming. That one looks dead. Yeah, it's the one that's got that's open. There's one open high right on the ground. This one. Let me get in front so we have a nice view. Okay, now just very gently shake them in. Jerk it. Okay. Back off. Mm -hmm. Let me put the things on and put the door on. You take the camera. I'm setting them down slowly so we don't whoops don't so we don't mush any of the bees by accident. Which you probably will anyway, right? Uh, very few, because they do move out of the way pretty well when you do it slowly. 